let's talk about spiral similarity suppose you have two points a b and you have two other points c and d and uh, let's also suppose a b c d is not a parallelogram then there is a geometric transformation that takes a to c and b to d it does other things as well but for the moment uh, it sends a to c and b to d remember we chose these four points a b c d almost arbitrarily we did not put any restrictions on how we choose these points the only restriction is perhaps that it is not a parallelogram other than that they can be chosen uh, in whatever way we want and i'm saying that there is a unique there is a unique geometric transformation which sends a to c and b to d now i should explain what i mean by geometric transformation geometric transformation this is a very um, powerful set of tools from mathematics uh, very useful for math olympiad style problems actually which uses transformation to solve geometry problems it's a bit different from how you would actually do at school level so what it means is it's a at its heart at its heart it's a map it's a map a function that sends points in the plane so we are only dealing with plane geometry for the moment so points in the plane our input and points in the plane are output so basically you send in a point in this magic box which is the geometric transformation which is the machine so you throw in this point a and you get output as another point in this case c uh, before we go into this special type of spiral similarity geometric transformation let me give you one very simple example of geometric transformation very simple example rotation by 60 degree so if you fix a point that's O, which is the center of the plane, take any point A, this is your input point, your output will be rotate this vector or this segment OA about O by 60 degree, wherever you reach, that is the output point A prime. So you have this input point and output point in the process and the process in which the input becomes the output is this rotation by 60 degree and that is my geometric transformation in this case this is just an example a very easy example of a geometric transformation we are interested in a much more complicated example which is spiral similarity you see how complicated it is. I mean, it is how beautiful it is because it can send any point C, any point A to any other point C and simultaneously it can send B to D. If I give you any two points A and B, suppose this is the center O, A can't be sent to B just using rotation by 60 degree there has to be this angle has to be 60 degree otherwise the rotation wouldn't work so um, we want to say that in this particular case in the case of spiral similarity we can do this input any point 
any point and you get you can send it to you can send it to any other point and simultaneously you can send another point B to any other point D as long as A, B, C, D is not forming a parallelogram. Quite nice, isn't it? Okay, so how does it work? Well, as the name suggests, spiral similarity involves two things. There are There is a rotation and there is a dilation. So you so one example is you take a point O, suppose this is the center of spiral similarity, you take a point O, suppose this is another point A, you want to send it to some point B, so what you do is you rotate it by whatever this angle is, then it goes to A prime, so rotate by theta and then you shrink it down you shrink it down to the length of OB so then finally A goes to B so first you do a rotation first you do a rotation and then you do a dilation in this case it is a shrinking intuitively it should be clear why this should work I mean if you if you are allowed to rotate and if you are allowed to shrink or expand you should be able to reach from any point to any other other point um, simultaneously you can send B to D that's a bit sur surprising anyway the key question is this what is the center of spiral similarity so what is the center So what we are claiming here is that there is a spiral similarity that sends A to C and B to D. Now to discover that spiral similarity, we have to find out the center of that spiral similarity. And of course the angle and the, uh, uh, the dilation coefficient. So how much we are shrinking or expanding, we need that as well. So let's first found, find out the center of spiral similarity. So center, let's find that. Here is an algorithm to find the center. You have A, B, C, D. We want the center of spiral similarity. So we are searching a for a point O somewhere in the plane. So let me just put the but let me just give you the how the construction works and then we can prove it so join a c a b b d and d c let's join all four of these lines so there is this point p suppose the intersection point let's create a circle through these three points so a p B as one one circle and D P C that's another circle. The other point where this these two circles intersect, this other point happens to be our desired center for spiral similarity. So I I gave you the answer. Now you have to prove that this actually works. What do you need to prove to show that? Well, suppose we join P, P, O, let's call this point O. We want to show that, let's join these lines. So we want to show that if we rotate O, B to B, D, O, B to O, D, if we rotate O, B to O, D, so that means this angle, you are thinking about this angle, angle B, O, D, this is actually equal to OA being rotated to OC. So this is equal to this other angle. Let me draw it in red. OA being rotated to OC. 
so this is angle AOC so can you show that angle BOD equals to angle AOC that's the first question so this is question one can you show this the second thing is the ratios should be same so what is the ratio of uh, spiral similarity well you should have OB over OD that is the ratio of the initial by the ratio of the final so this is the initial this is the final whatever this ratio is it should be same as the other initial by final so OA by OC so this is OA over OC this is the ratio along uh, by which you should be shrinking OB or o OA okay so now the question is this that are these two equal because that's what we want we want the ratio of dilation the ratio of dilation these should be equal should be equal and uh, also the so this is question number two so question number one is the angle equal are the angles equal question number two are the ratios equal if both of them are equal then this point O has our desired property so give it a try link in the description will have more detail uh, so you should be able to submit the solution as well if we have time we will definitely look into it uh, more importantly there is a connection of this idea with complex numbers so I hope to talk about that connection in the next video. It's a very beautiful connection with complex numbers and spiral similarity. And in fact, there is also a connection with the, uh, well, the Mobius transformations in general. So we will talk about that. But till then, keep on doing great mathematics. I'll see you in the next video.